Hi, I don't know if I'm really gonna film this. Um, I guess I already started, so I might as well. Uh, I'm using the Momofuku cookbook, and we're gonna use a couple different recipes to make a couple different things. <sighs> this first thing we're gonna do is use the Boston pork butt. She thick. And we are going to marinate it, and then we're gonna cook it in a pressure cooker because no one has time for that. Ooh, okay, sis. We're also gonna make scallion ginger noodles. The first thing I'm doing is I'm taking the butt and I'm covering it in a cup of sugar and a cup of salt. I'm gonna kind of roll it up. Not gonna go well. Uh-oh. Uh-ohs. Oh my god, imagine me at Subway. Oh, everyone would complain. Hey everyone, it's me. And boy, did Dan and I have some news for you. I mean, I did the meat setting for an hour, so that'll cook until it's tender, and then we're gonna transition into the oven. Okay, every time I open this, I just pray I don't die. Great for kids! But, ooh, it's orange juice, the good stuff, none of that cheap crap. Just to add some moisture back into it, some brown sugar. I'm gonna just put this over the top. This will give it like a nice kind of caramelized crust to it. So to make the sauce for the bosom, um, we need both of these. Which one is this? If I know. Samjang, and it's like a, a soybean paste. It's like a seasoned, fermented soybean type of dealio. Okay, that looks like diarrhea. So if you're into that, let's take a tablespoon of this kind of bean paste. This is gochujang, and this is a hot pepper paste. A half tablespoon of the chili paste. This is rice vinegar. They use sherry vinegar. I don't even know if this is like momofuku anymore for this sauce. This sauce is more like Tish's sauce because she can't read and doesn't know how to listen. Fourth a cup of the vinegar. Fourth a cup. It's a little bit of that spicy sauce that we had made. I think this is a testament to the quality is it of hard? education provided by Kaiser University to even be considered. Now we're gonna make some ginger scallion nudesies. I'm gonna add garlic and a little bit of honey for sweetness. Um, we'll also have ginger in it and scallions. Some grapeseed oil, the same vinegar, and a little bit of soy sauce. So I took the ginger and I peeled it and I'm gonna put it in a food processor so it's kind of a pulp. I'm also gonna add I'm also gonna add this much garlic. Take some scallions, green onions, whatever you want to call them. I don't really care. It's not gonna keep me up at night. So these are the parts of the scallions that we're gonna cut up and use. So I'm gonna use about I don't know a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of the ginger garlic in the green onions go. A fourth a cup of grapeseed oil. About a half teaspoon of the rice vinegar, a teaspoon of soy sauce, and a little drizzle of honey. This looks like when the dogs eat those long strains of grass yeah. to settle their stomachs and then they throw it up. Take these weirdly little cucumbers and we're just gonna cut them up. So I'm just gonna cover these and about a half tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Wish I had an appetizer, I really do. No, give Clementine! So for these instant noodles, they literally cook like a minute. Okay. No sign of the mysterious wooden 